Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini Priyadarshini Megur, also known as Avi, and I'm a PhD student in the field of biology. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the advanced snail mucin gel cleanser. It is from Cosrex. I would start by saying this is that I really don't like this product from the snail mucin line from Cosrex. I will tell you why in this video. So keep watching till the end because I'm going to be disclosing all the ingredients in this formulation and I will be telling you if this product is worth purchasing. So the first ingredient is water. Following to that, there is butylene glycol, glycerin. These are humectant, helps with the hydration. As you're washing your face, you get enough water and the humectant holds up to this water and that actually goes to your skin. So it helps with really good hydration. I really like the formulation till now. And then after that, there is going to be a gentle surfactant which actually causes this foaming kind of uh, appearance is the disodium laureate sulfosuccinate so this is a cleansing agent so you you see the, the foaming kind of appearance is coming because of this ingredient it helps with cleansing your pores it removes all the debris the dirt from the deep pores and then it removes it and leaves your face squeaky clean. According to FDA, 2% of this ingredient can be used on the leave-on product and up to 10% can be used in rinse off product. And here it is definitely less than 10% because it's a fifth ingredient. And I like the formulation it, just till now. But over here I saw that there is fragrance. Cosrex never puts fragrance in their snail mucin line, but they came up with fragrance for this one. Ugh, they messed it up here. Fragrance is not accepted by all skin type. There can be a very sensitive skin type people who will use this one and can get sort of redness on their face. It is just because of the ingredient fragrance. There are different ingredients which can cause redness, but fragrance is one of the culprit which actually leads to contact dermatitis. You won't understand it now, but constant use of fragrance on the face can eventually gradually lead to contact dermatitis in future. And you will be confused like, I never used such an ingredient that can trigger my face, but over the year of time of using fragrance on the skin, it leads to contact dermatitis. So I always tell my subscribers and everyone to avoid or else step out the product which has fragrance in it. And if you see in the um, ingredient list, the fragrance is in a higher percentage which can actually be very alarming. It's in a higher percentage, first of all. Talking about the disodium laureate uh, sulfosuccinate, it is also a ingredient which can clog the pores so not really oily skin type people can use it it is not a leave-on product so there is no chances of clogging the pores but if you are actually using it and nicely rubbing it on the face it can not be suitable for the oily skin type and also for the people who are actually having acne they have the snail secretion filtered in such a less percentage in this one this face foaming cleanser and then after that there is high percent of fragrance i don't like this ingredient in general and i don't like this formulation also because it's not well formulated rather there are other products like their double essence and uh, their 96 snail uh, secretion filtrate uh, on the face it's it's like there are different types of product but all of them rock other than this one product they messed it up completely here i me using a face cleanser then topping up the different uh, snail uh, products from the Gosrex. the first base is wrong the, the cleanser is wrong and then rest all are really good so one step is wrong then all the other steps doesn't work really well i would say that instead of using this foaming cleanser you can uh, use the CeraVe foaming cleanser it is really good and uh, avoid this one. This one is not a good product from their line. I have spoken about uh, this one product which I don't like from the Cosrx line and uh, this is the one. This is the one only product from the Snail Mucin line that I really don't like and I have never purchased it because of the reasons and the reason is it has high amount of fragrance. The main purpose of my channel is to make sure that none of you have any sort of reaction while applying any uh, product and I try to disclose all the ingredients just to make you aware that this ingredient is good for you and this is not. So that is all my channel is about and you know 
I, I try, I try to break it down. I try to tell people and still people do mistake and they're always writing in the comment section that, oh, you know, why is my skin getting this kind of, you know, allergy? Why is this happening? That's why I keep telling you need to avoid some products. This is the reason why, because now you won't see it, but maybe after two or three years, you can start seeing the, um, uh, the, the things that's happening to your face. So just try to avoid the things that I tell you to, because I know that, you know, my studies is all about this. I have studied so much all these years just to, you know, knowledge you guys as a teacher that this is good, this is bad. But anyways, you can write your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. So that is it for this video. If you have any, any doubt, you can always reach out to me on Instagram. This is my Instagram profile. And if you have any questions, write down in the comment section below. I will get back to you with the answers. So make sure that you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon so that you can be updated whenever I come up with a new video. I will see you soon. Take care and bye.